What's a short code? And why would I want a tag for subgenres? Let's get a little technical here on how I manage my music. All right, everybody, before we start the video, please navigate down, hit that subscribe button, make sure you ding that notification bell as well. Also, make sure to like the video. And please, if you want to support the channel, head over to my Patreon page and subscribe. Now, many years ago, I used to rely on iTunes to manage much of the structure of my music. And since it handled all the folder structure, all I basically had to do was just create some smart playlists and it helped organize my music to my liking. But maintaining multiple databases, be it iTunes of Serato or say iTunes of Virtual DJ, things would simply just get out of sync and it just really wasn't worth it. So I set out on a mission to recreate some of the key features that I used in iTunes and transplant that into my DJ application of choice. So what's my goal in all this? Simply put, I want to be able to recall music as quickly as possible. So the first things I had to think about was what music am I recalling? In iTunes, that was first related to my star rating that at least signifies the likelihood of me wanting to play that song during a period of time. But in iTunes, that's all I had was just a rating, nothing more. How could I better leverage that rating? For instance, songs that I would personally love, but it might be a lot less likely that the crowd likes it. So that begat the first element of my short code system. And this is a system that would come up with abbreviations that normally won't come up in search just so it won't uh, you know, just easily get mixed up. In this case, code SRT became my sorting code. And that transposed my star rating. So a five star rating would be SRT5, SRT444, and so on. Now that was great for my personal rating, but how does that relate to other parts of an event that I would do? So that's when I came up with my music types. So CMY for ceremony, C and D for cocktail and dinner, and D and C for dancing. So then I could assign a number to give my personal preference as I would rate it for the crowd's potential of liking that song and how it could potentially differ from my own personal taste. So now that rating music now has rankings, how about other things that has just basically some meaning? Well, I can kind of bake in the mood of a song like SLW for a slow song or CLB for that club banger. And if I have a song on vinyl, which I still collect, then I can mark it as VNL7 for a seven inch single, VNL12 for a 12 inch single, and VNL LP for a full album. And it really helps me to stage an all vinyl set now. And most importantly to a mobile DJ, CLN tags my own clean tracks, why XPL, goes for those explicit tracks. So where am I gonna store all these short codes? For me, I wanted to leave the comment field free, just in case if I wanted to capture even more information about the song. And at the time that I started using Serato, it had this composer tag available, and it's something I just really didn't use. So that became the home of my short codes. And when I switched to Virtual DJ, it actually lacked the ability to search the field. But I mentioned it in the support forums, and they quickly added it. Talk about great support. So in addition to all this, I wanted to make sure that I captured the subgenre of the song while preserving a core genre as its own thing. So I created this really stringent genre system, the primary genre system, that songs had to fall under. This is classical, country, dance, hip hop, jazz, Latin, pop, reggae, rock, and other. But naturally, songs can live in just very mixed and varied places. So let's say a disco song could have more of an R&B root, or maybe it's just based off dance. A hip hop song could be more pop than anything. Reggaeton, bachata, new wave, freestyle, west coast, yacht rock, the list goes on and on. But I wanna make sure that I captured as much information as possible for the essence of the song. I used the grouping tag to be my home for these subgenres, and now the more detail, the better. With all this information, along with my short codes, it allows me to search with great detail beyond just an artist or a song. If I want a West Coast hip hop song that the dance crowd would love, you know, hip hop, DNC, West Coast, got it. You want some Yacht Rock that works for dinner? Then I'm typing in Yacht Rock and CND. This just allows me so much refinement in my search. Now, while I know a ton about my music and I always say, know your music, it really helps to have an all searchable database that allows you to just speed up the process. 
So this way I can focus on other aspects of managing my events. And it also helps me rediscover tracks that I might have forgotten about to take more risk when I'm expanding my dance floor and trying new things. Now also having these shortcuts and other data points allows me to create smart crates in Serato or smart filters in Virtual DJ to give me a basis to work off of. For instance, I have root filters for decades, genres, music types, my star ratings, and that helps me just to give an additional level to navigate through and gives me an entire library of possibilities. In the end, this system has worked for me for a very long time. It allowed me to get off of iTunes and really expand using uh, whatever software that I use. And to be honest, this is transplantable. You don't have to be, say, in a record box, which does have things like moods and stuff like that. But now I can carry that over if I want to switch to Serato or Virtual DJ or Tractor or whatever your software of choice. And that's where I think the real advantage here is where you're no longer reliant on what a particular piece of software does or does not support. As long as it has tags that you can utilize and you put them where you want and need them, then the world is your oyster. Well, there's a video and I truly hope this was informative. And if so, hit that thumbs up and subscribe below. Make sure you're ding that notification bell as well. Head over to my Patreon page to help the channel. And naturally, if you like videos like this and wanna see more, check out everything else that the channel has. Stay safe and be well.